Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly just go through the different letters I've taken pictures of because I know they came out in black and white so you not, might not necessarily see what they are. You might not know what they represent. Some of them represent things and some of them I couldn't really find good things yet for them to represent so I just took pictures of more random things. Um, starting off with this B, I uh, got it off of a car, B and W. Um, I just did it because it was sleek. It had that metallic, futuristic feel that you can get from my movie. Uh, this is an E. Um, I use these. Uh, the they're cables that you use when you're holding things in a car. I use them because they kind of have that snake feel um, that I wanted to get. One of the characters in the movie has a snake, so I wanted to try and get that snake feel with this letter. Um, these are supposed to represent ends. I use um, watches to kind of represent time for the movie. Um, Everybody seems like they're running out of time, so what better way than a watch? Um, this R, I just I couldn't really find any other thing to really represent the R around my house or outside of my house really well. So I just got this R. Um, this is supposed to be an N. Um, what are the ideas? when I was last in, in a Zoom meeting, um, we were talking about how it seems like uh, one of the characters has the power to unplug um, the replicant robots. So it's kind of like the theme I was going for here. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be an N. Uh, this is, again, um, one of the things I tried to do is I tried to have things in different uh, photo shapes. Just the best way you can say, I don't have a Polaroid camera. I tried to find one and then I tried to ask family and friends if they have one, nobody really have one. Um, and I wasn't really trying to pay like $40, $50 just for one thing. So um, I did go find a Polaroid um, Polaroid, uh, what's the word, mock-ups, and I printed them out, um, but in, in the movie, photographs, um, because at first I was thinking just Polaroids, but then I went back and looked through the movie, and I found that there's many instances of many different types of photos, you know, some cut in weird ways in Decker's room, some Polaroid, some full pictures. So I decided to just go with different shapes. Um, this is supposed to be a U. I had gotten a belt and kind of like in place of a another picture for a snake. So that's what that's supposed to represent. Um, so this is an R. Uh, I kind of, one of the ideas I had was kind of using like a blur effect. So I moved my camera. This was outside on a brick. Um, and so I kind of moved my camera really fast to get that blur effect, kind of like a fuzzy memory or a false fuzzy memory effect that was going here. And this is just the R by itself without me moving the camera. Um, this E is kind of like the B from the beginning. I had off of a, a man, um, just having that metallic, featureless font and feel. Um, so this D, I tried, I didn't really have anything around the house to replicate blood really well. I wanted it to be like more grittier. So I just use like barbecue sauce and ketchup. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's supposed to be a D in blood. So I probably can find a way to make that look better. Um, so I have in letter A in the newspaper, one of the first scenes with the main character, uh, Decker, like literally the first scene you see him, he's reading a newspaper. So I thought I could do something with that. So I uh, put the A and no, it's not the Scarlet Letter. Uh, so this one is letter L in a cup. Um, it's detergent. I wanted to, one of the scenes after Decker gets like beat up on, he takes a, he gets a drink and you can actually see in the movie some of his blood like go into the drink and like you can see the red in the drink after he takes a swig because blood was coming from his mouth. So I wanted to kind of replicate that in this photo. I could probably go into Photoshop and like edit it and like change it to like have a reddish color. But that was my thought process for this. Um, uh, is that all of them? That is not all of them. I think that is. Oh, here's. Here's the last one. Um, I had a balloon. Uh, so I put the letter B on it and I had thrown it up and let it fall. I'm taking a picture of it so I could get that, that blur effect again. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I could have like the blur effect for some of the pictures and then try to like implement a glitch effect for some others um, to have that fuzzy memory. Um, but yeah, those were pretty much I, my ideas. Um, a lot of them were just placeholders and I can find like better pictures to represent things. Um, but yeah, that was my guess.